video for a long time about how to put tire chains on a truck. It's very, uh, or a car or whatever. It's uh, pretty misunderstood. A lot of people don't have the opportunity to do this. So I'm going to show you how to make it real easy for you. First thing, keep your chains organized. Put them in a bag or in a box or something. Put them in the toolbox of your truck or your garage or wherever and keep them organized. It's important because, um, let me forget that. <clears throat> it's important because they need to not get tangled up. When you pull them out, they need to be relatively straight. See, they're nice and straight there. Okay, so what I want to show you, you need to look at the ends. One end will have, now not all tire chains are exactly the same, but they're all pretty close. One end will have a quick link on it, quick disconnect, that has only, you just hook it in the uh, chain on the other end. The other one has a little latch on it. All right, get me out of there. Now this latch, when you get this on the chain, when you go to hook it to the other end, all right, come on. There it goes. You're gonna fold this over, slide this on, actually it's upside down, slide this catch on so it catches like this. Your other chain will be in here. You'll see what I mean when we put it on here in a minute. Okay, another thing. You see how they call these, see if I can hold this up here. They call these bars, where they go, these things that go across there, these are bars, these are rails. So your bars, if you look at the end of the bar, where they hook to the chain, you see it's got an open side and a closed side where it's got a loop here. This back side here should be against the tire. For short periods of time, it doesn't really make any difference, but it's easier on the tire and it helps that chain lay down flatter while you're, uh, while you're driving. And if you have to leave them on for any length of time, like we used to have to in Idaho for two or three months at a time sometimes, then you want them to be on tight and straight and, and right. So when you take these, See, I want this to be to the inside. I want my quick link to be to the inside. And I want my open hooks to be to the outside of the tire. So this is how I need to hold them. Now what a lot of people do is they lay the chain out straight in front of the car and try to drive on it. Folks, that doesn't work. You can't, unless you want to measure with a tape measure and get the exact distance up there. Um, it just, it doesn't work. You're going to waste a lot of time. The other thing, if you had mud grips on the, on your, uh, in mud and snow tires, sometimes the lug of that tire will pick the chain up as you try to drive over it and mess it all up. So, um, on a four wheel drive, you always want to put the chains on the front, not on the rear. Same reason a front wheel drive car pulls better than a rear wheel drive. So I'm going to take these chains and get it about halfway. You want to get out of the road there so you don't get run over. We'll continue here in just a minute. We got a car coming, so we got to wait. We're out here in the road doing this, so the video will work out. Go ahead and hit pause on your truck stop. Okay, we had a little interruption, had some traffic coming, so uh, we still got the chain the same way we did before. Quick link to the inside and the open part of the hooks to the outside of the tire. So we want to get it somewhere as near the middle and just come up here and drape this over the tire. Making sure that it's straight all the way around. You want to have about the same distance here overlapping on each side. Just make sure that that's about the same. Make sure it's nice and straight. Okay, notice I've got a little more on that side than I got on this side. I want to bring this up to where it's, um, I want to tuck this under the tire so I don't have to pull up very far. All right, now just 
watch that tire there and let me pull up just a little bit. Alright, that'll do. You see where the where the links are. Now you shouldn't even really need to get down in the snow at all on this. Maybe down on one knee or just uh, just squat down here. Make sure it's straight again. Pull this out. Get your uh, get the end of your chain up here. Can you bring that camera? Can you see back in here? I don't know if you can see that or not. So you're just going to hook the end of this in that, uh, as I remember, these are a little bit loose. I'm going to skip one link. Okay. I got that one. Now we'll come to the outside. Grab both ends and kind of kind of yank on them this way. Okay, get them snug. Get in the farthest link. Can't quite reach that one, so we're going to get the next one. This will be easy. I'm going to fold this up. And latch that this way. Okay, now if this is tight, do they also have these rubber chain tighteners? They're uh, like a big O-ring with five hooks on it. And you hook them in here. Those are unnecessary if your chains fit your tire as well and you put them on tight. What I normally do is I'll drive for, you know, 100 yards or half a mile or whatever for a little ways and stop. And I am probably might be able to get this other link. But that's pretty tight right now. That's good. Um, we've got a little bit of a of a lot wider gap here than the rest of the way around. That's not that's not beneficial when you're in really deep stuff. But uh, sometimes you can add another rail. I've got enough room to add another rail here if I wanted to. But no more often than we use them, it's not that big a deal. So that's how you do it. I'm, I'm not going to video the other side. It's just like this side. So um, can't think of anything else. They have, oh, these tails right here. If your chains are a little bit big, you may have a tail inside or outside that's four or five lengths long. Um, that's when you want to put one of your chain tighteners on and hold this because that tail gets to flopping in there and it'll eat out the inside of your fender well here and just makes a lot of noise and tears stuff up. This little tail right here won't hurt anything. If I was going to leave it on and be driving, you know, at higher speeds, I might go ahead and take a piece of tie wire and tie that down, but it's really not a big deal. They have cable chains. They have all kinds of different chains. A lot of them are gimmicks. A lot of them are okay on city streets and stuff. But if you're in deep snow, deep mud, in the backwoods, good heavy-duty chains, and these are actually only probably medium-duty. There's some heavier than this. Are uh, they're indispensable? They're 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 priceless when you get out in the woods. All right, well there you go. Hope that helps some of you. And I'm going to put my other one on and go back up and pull the trailer out of the snow. I need to extend this a little bit. I'm going to show you another little trick. Instead of uh, we turned the truck around so we can see it in the sunlight here. Sometimes you're already stuck if you weren't smart enough to put your chains on before it started, or sometimes it just happens out of circumstance that you're not able to. So if you have to put the chains on and you're already stuck, let me show you how to how to do that. We're going to do the same thing we did before. We're going to make sure our quick link is to the inside and the open hooks are to the outside of the tire. Okay, we're going to get halfway. Drape this over the tire. And we want about the same amount on this time on both sides. Remember last time we had the longer side uh, on the front and piled it up there. So we just had to drive a little bit so we could reach here. You don't want to drive too far because your other side will fall off. So you want to drive just enough that you can pull all of that um, other one out of there and, and latch them either here or here. But if you can't move, you can't do it that way. So make sure you're good and straight. Now the problem with this is, it's my least favorite part of it, 
you really have no choice but to reach under, you get up under the truck, stretch that as far as you can reach, your, your one end. And you're going to have to get up here and lay down, reach up under the truck and hook it in your longest, hook it in the first link. So it's as long as it'll be, as long as it can be. Now then, we can't pull it as tight as we'd like to, but we're going to pull it as tight as we can. Now this is only to get you moving, get you out of the mud hole. So pull both ends here. Get it as tight as you can get it. The tighter you get it, the better off you'll be. And then latch it here. That's almost too tight, but I got it. Now see, I've got four links on lift. Remember we only had two on the other side? I've got four links here. This isn't nearly tight enough because the inside is too long. But I'll change all that once I get myself out of the mud hole. Then I'll, I'll change all that. So uh, I'll change that here in just a minute. But the um, it does not help to put one chain on your drive axles. Whichever tire gets, gets, has the, the least traction is going to spin no matter what. So the one you put the chain on is not going to spin, it's not going to pull, it's not going to help you. So you have to put them on both sides. Now what you can do is, especially on a two-wheel drive vehicle, go ahead and put your chains on the back and put either one or two chains on a front tire. That doesn't pull, but it helps you to control your front end. On a road, if you see the the crown of the road, then that, if it's real slick, it may want to slide towards one side or the other. So if you have one chain on there, or both if you want to, that keeps that front end from sliding and gives you a little bit more control and, and some steering. So um, I thought there was something else I thought of. I guess not. Can't think of it. Anyway, that's how you do it. I'm going to unhook this one and put it on right, and then I'm going to go in and get my trailer out of the snow. We've got about 20 inches of new snow in there. All right, thanks for watching.